quit my stressful job we need the money is this you have you found yourself at this point in your life dreading going to work every single morning Sundays are ruined with the fear and thought of having to start back on Monday morning right well enough's enough I am Kirsty Bortoft and I am a mindset coach I'm the author of Break Free From Pain, and I'm also the um, founder of the Freedom Alignment Method, and I work with professionals all around the world who are dealing with stress and anxiety. And one of the things that I see time and time again is people regrettably not listening to their mind and body of what they should and shouldn't be doing with their lives in fear of an illusion that they've created that sounds like something similar like I don't leave my job even though I don't like it even though it's stressful even though it's making me ill because we need the money so this is my tip to you today don't let your life unfold and be taken away from you because you didn't listen to your mind and body just because you want to make a change and you fear that there is not enough money to do so doesn't mean that there aren't other solutions. What the mind has done is it's categorically told you that you have to stay where you're at because it's paying the bills, when actually there's a million opportunities and different paths for you to take right now. The reason why you can't see them is because you're so heavily stuck in the fear factor of what is at the moment your life. So this is my suggestion. The first question I'd ask you is, what is it costing you, and be honest, living like this? What impact does it have on your relationships, on your mental health, on your your finances? What What impact does it have on your future? Now, if you are recognizing a pattern to this, that actually what the impact is is not positive, then the cost of not taking action will outweigh eventually you doing something about it today. And what I see is, unfortunately, some people come to me where the choice has now been taken away from them. And what I mean by that is they haven't listened to their body, they haven't tried to look for alternative ways of getting on in the world. And eventually the stress has become so intense and over time has worn them down so much that they're now ill. And so they're forced into stopping working because they can't possibly do it because of the state of their mind and body. Do not let that be you, okay? Take action now and you don't have to be drastic. You start by researching. Research what your dream job is, what excites you, what do you feel inspired by? And then look at your qualities that you have and write them down. Write your qualities down and start compiling a list of things that you've achieved, what you find easy, what you love and what you've done. And very slowly, you can start putting this information together, which will do two things. One, it will start to empower you because you'll remember actually that you are an amazing individual And two, your reticular activating system, which is the part of the brain between your conscious and subconscious mind will kick in. And this part of the brain, the mind is the part where, so you know, when you bought a new car, the first car you ever got, and it was bright yellow, but it was your first car and you just loved it because it was your first car. Suddenly you get this car and there's yellow cars everywhere, but you've never noticed any yellow cars up until getting this car that's your reticular activating system. It's where suddenly something comes into conscious awareness and it now becomes very apparent for your mind to see it and pick it up. And so what happens is when you trigger this in a positive way, is your mind now starts searching for that on the outside world. So build your confidence by researching and realizing that there is lots of options by first of all, writing your list of ideas about what you've done, what you've achieved, your strengths, et cetera, and also what you would love to do. And the third and final part of this is then start researching options of different jobs. You don't have to leave a job before setting or lining another one up. 
you know you do it in your time in your space and you decide what the, this is going to look like it may be that you have to go and retrain it may be that you take what seemingly looks like a financial sidestep or a side back but for a better outcome in two three years time you have to outweigh the costs of that is it worth pulling in the, the strings, the shoestrings, financial shoestrings for a couple of years so that you can reap the rewards in a few years time once you finish studying in whatever particular new field that you desire? Or is it going to be better that you just stay where you are miserable? I already know the answer. So I can't afford to leave my job. My question is to you is, can you actually afford to stay in the job that you hate?